everybody. This is the Pest Rhino Show. Uh, today we're going to talk TRX-4Ms. Um, and some other stuff. So, let's get started. Um, you guys have seen Green with Envy. Um, I made him last year. Uh, he's had several revisions. And uh, he's a great little crawler. Everybody loves it because of the graphics, the Pistrano graphics. Um, everybody wants to get those graphics, but they are also very expensive. So not many people get them. All right, so that's green with envy. Um, last week I finished up. The buggy Nicholas Cage and um, it turned out really well uh, it's got the flat transmission plate everything just seems to fit together real well everything's real everything's tight but everything's loose and it has good good flex um, Front and rail steering works great. Uh, the setup for the electronics works out really well. Able to get to the switch relatively easy, so that worked out great. So that's Nicholas Cage. Pretty cool little truck. Now, um, Green with Envy has green servos and Nicholas Cage has orange servos, so. <clears throat> of course, all of them are in SDRC. Then, I just finished up this bad boy. This is beast mode. Um, it's pretty much set up just like Nicholas Cage, only with the beast mode chassis. And trill, these are trill portals. Um, so it's lifted up a little bit higher, uh, even though the body is lower. Uh, you can see we did the flat skid on this one as well. This one has Injura. Uh, you can see the front and the rear, or the rear and the front. I don't know which is which, but look at it. But they're exactly the same. So we've got. High trail, rear links on the front and in the back. Along with Enjora rear drive shafts in the front and the back. Uh, you can see it has the trail portals. <clears throat> trail axles. This one has <clears throat> overdrive in the front. And underdrive in the rear so that the front pulls. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, the shocks. These are the exact same shocks that I used on Nicholas Cage. But this set's crap. I, I don't know what happened. The set. I mean, you can. No noise. They don't make any noise at all. The noise is the servo hitting the cage. Then you get to these. They're rough as hell. So these will be getting swapped out soon, but they're on there just so that I could finish it today. Uh, a little difference. Uh, I've got these little screw things. Make it look really nice. Uh, Brass wheels, brass extenders, and this beast mode chassis is just set up. You can do, look at the range. You got so many options. Works out really well. Oh, and the flex on this thing is just ridiculous. I mean, you can almost, you can force 90 degrees out of it. 
The only thing stopping it is the the links hitting each other. If the upper links were up just a little bit further, wouldn't have this problem, and it would do full 90. But for now, we get about, I don't know, 75, 80. So that is beast mode. I think it turned out pretty slick. and get all three in the picture here. There you go, there's my three TX forms that I have right now. And the next thing we're gonna talk about is the fourth one, which I'll be starting on. Um, later today or tomorrow, not sure which, um, but I do have a good start on it. I've got, uh, the transmission built, you can see I got the Furetech Cedar. Enjoyer transmission. I'm going with mostly Enjoyer parts on this build uh, just because this is my Enjoyer build. Um, you see, I'm using an Enjoyer transmission plate. And all kinds of other goodies. These bad boys. These are the new diamond axles. Those will be in it. Um, more NSDRC servos. Links. Shocks. Pretty much all the goodies. But yeah, so that that's the next build coming up. Um, what else? Put the camera back where it belongs. Get these trucks out of the way. Let's see, we're building on this one. One thing um, I noticed trying to use the Endura chassis is that you bolt these two together right in this location and it actually covers up this spot for the linkage um, so you can't use it uh, I think Opie has a solution for that but right now I decided not to go with that I decided I'm going to run the Furitech Perm Fiber Chassis. I've had one of the, like one of my first builds had one of these on it, so looking forward to doing that. And what that gives me is I'll be able to put this in place. And not have any interference, so that'll be good. Uh, it's got everything you need to put it together, so that should make things a lot easier. Um, then I gotta build the wheels and tires, these are gonna be going on, so it's gonna be a blue build. And I think that's it. So you'll see videos.
coming up in the near future on this Enjora build, which is the first I've ever done. Now, I use some Enjora parts in all my builds, uh, especially the Lynx. Um, but this is this is a full Enjora build, so it should uh, work out pretty good. All right, and then what do we do after this one's built? Well, we've got the big build coming up. Got some parts actually showing up for it today, even though I don't even have the vehicle. But we'll be doing the Creighton. I have to admit, this body is pretty cool. So this will be the next big project. I'll still be doing little modifications on different things like on the 14B. Those are cool, right? Gives it the drift look. I like it. All right, well, with all that being said, I think that's it for today. Uh, another short video. Hopefully have more in the future. Um, I might do a video right after this where I do show how to build the, the Enjoy truck. So we'll see about that. Alright guys, you all have a great day and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. Good day now.